Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy King James here. All right, I know I'm a little late out of the gate with the CX-9, but there's a reason for that. There's been a lot of balancing changes on SMGs and all of the guns lately, and the OTS-9 just got a nerf on its damage on the close range and a nerf on the neck damage, so it's not quite as good as it used to be. And the real meta SMGs, the Bullfrog and the MAC-10, are really great, but the CX-9 can actually compete and beat those in a couple of places. And I've got a little bit of data that I want to share with you guys on that. So I know a bunch of you have been asking for this for a while. Um, Hamza the Gamer, can you please make a CX-9 video? Chris369, are you going to do a review on the CX-9? And Guido Vengegas, I don't know if I said that right, can you please do a CX-9 video, KJ? So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this, and I've got it for you right now. What? Oh my god, I dropped in. Oh my god, you fucking murdered me? I 100% murdered you, bro. All right, so check this out. Here's the CX-9 versus the Bullfrog and the Mac-10. And as you can see, right up until 30 meters, the CX-9 beats both of them. After 30 meters, which is pretty far for an SMG, let's be honest, although, you know, we've all done it, it's pretty competitive. It's a, it's not as good as the other two past that range, but before that, where you really do all your SMG engagements from zero to 30, it actually blows both of them away. And this is with just a standard build that you're gonna use on any gun. And let me show you the one downside to the CX-9. X9, and this is why maybe it doesn't get quite as much play as some of the other guns do, and it's the movement speed. So it's really competitive on, on ADS and sprint to fire and tactical sprint to fire. It's very close on all of those things, but the movement speed. Both of the other guns are right around five meters per second. That's your normal fast moving speed with a good SMG, where it's only four and a half. So that's about 10% less. It's not a lot, but it's some. And for guys who really like high movement speed, this wouldn't appeal for them. However, if you're looking to win close range engagements and you feel like you're losing your fights against these guns, try the CX-9. Despite the slightly less movement speed, the faster time to kill, it's going to let you win those close range engagements. And as you saw in that video with the death comms I posted, that's exactly what I was doing there with that gun. So it actually works really good for that. So I tried the CX-9 out in two different builds, one with an optic like what you see here, and it's a uh, sort of like a Microflex LED style optic on the Modern Warfare guns, and one with the iron sights. And to be honest, I liked both of them. So if you really like an optic, I'll have a build for one with an optic, and if you like iron sights, I have a build for with iron sights as well. In terms of the time to kill, using this gun in that zero to 30 meter range, it's really strong. I had no problem when I was challenging guys with any other weapon. The time to kill on this thing, as you saw in the chart, is really good up close. The only thing that can sort of beat it, I guess, is the OTS-9, but even that was nerfed. That big headshot multiplier and neck shot multiplier is now gone. So this is definitely more viable. And here it is with the iron sights, and the iron sights are very clean. They're sort of like, um, you know, they sort of have like a dip down and they're open like the LC-10 does, and I really like the LC-10's iron sights. So this is one of those guns where, you know, the iron sights are really good and clean on it, and you can definitely use that, and it saves an attachment. And as you can see how strong it is up close, I had no problem challenging guys at pretty well any range, 0 to 30 meters. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's, I'm, I'm holding them off, but there's two back here. Uh, Limbs down. And they're ready. Right, 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 right. Like we got one. Moving in. New safe zone located. One more time. Anybody? Get to this side area. Yeah, right here. Oh, no. 20 meters, he's in here. Got him. Team wiped. Shit, I'm in their sights. Oh. Got him live ping. He's a bullet. He went around the wall. He's going left. I got him. Gas is he thought he was cute. Sniping from, uh... 
All right, so as you can see, I've actually got the CX-9 already unlocked, of course, and I've played with it so much, I actually got it all the way up to gold. I've enjoyed using it so much. But you need to unlock the gun, which is actually really simple. All you have to do is get two long shot kills in five different matches. So go ahead and grab your Milano or Bullfrog or MAC-10 or any of the SMGs and get long shot kills. That's anything beyond about 30 meters. It's actually pretty easy to do. And you only need two in five different matches. So you can jump into Plunder or Clash or multiplayer if you have the full version of the game and shipment or shoot the ship and get two kills and then back out and just do that five times and boom it's unlocked i unlocked the gun in probably 10 minutes flat you just get two and back out that's all you need to do it's really simple it's not like unlocking cold war guns where you have to play complete games it's a modern warfare gun so two back out you're done all right, so just before I show you my build, I want to say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel and is here watching my videos. I really appreciate all that love and support, so thank you guys. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you my build. All right, so on the CX-9, I'm just using the base version of the gun and I've got the gold blueprint unlocked, which is why it looks like this. Now, for the barrel, what's interesting about the barrel is the CX-38S, it gives you damage range, recoil control, bullet velocity, and sound suppression in the barrel. So when you take this, it actually blocks out the muzzle, so it saves you an attachment. Now I'm running a laser on this and definitely running the TAC laser because this is great for close range guns. Aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. So this is really great to have on Modern Warfare SMGs. Now for an underbarrel, definitely running the Commando foregrip just gives you that recoil control. And magazine, I'm grabbing the largest drum. It still has a really fast ADS even despite using this drum. And last but not least, the rear grip, I'm using the CX-9 TAC grip, because again, it gives you even more ADS speed and sprint to fire, which would make this gun really easy to use in those up-close engagements. And if you want to run it with the optic like you saw me doing in some of my videos, take the TAC laser off and grab the Solo Zero Optics Mini Reflex. This is basically the modern warfare version of the Microflex LED. It pretty well looks exactly the same. So if you really like the Microflex LED and that clean sight picture, take off the TAC laser and grab this. Now you will lose a little bit of ADS and a little bit of that mobility, but even like this, it still works really well. And if you love having the Microflex, this will be the way you want to run it and it'll work really great for you as well. Anyway, guys, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below. I know a lot of you really like to run off meta guns. So our meta guns are, you know, the Bullfrog, the Mac-10, which I compared this to in the OTS-9, which was just nerfed. So the CX-9 really can play a role. I don't know why this gun isn't meta. It's not that hard to unlock. Maybe guys just don't want to unlock it and use it. But in terms of time to kill and all of the other, you know, feel and sound and mobility, it's really a good competitor for all those guns. And if you want to run something that's not meta, that... But but feels and works just as well, the CX-9 is 100% it. So unlock it and give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. To be honest, I'm still using it now. Even despite, you know, having done the video and, and finished it, it's still part of my regular guns that I pull out and use. It really works that well and I enjoy using the Modern Warfare guns. I sort of miss the Modern Warfare only gun days so it brings back a bit of that nostalgia. So if you like that, you know, give it a shot. It really does work awesome. Anyways guys, you don't see me Warzone. If you don't see me multiplayer, it's only Matter time, baby. King James out.